when seven cadets boarded the Earth's most advanced spacecraft in the year of our Lord 2120, they had no idea what was in store for them. Peaceful and advanced, the Earth had also grown complacent. An alien device landed in the Rocky Mountains and promptly erased humanity from history. I am Captain Matt Stone, and today I lead a ragtag group of humans and aliens on a lonely quest to restore the Earth. Someday we will return, but for now our home is called Mars Station. Last time on Mars Station, Operation Zombie, archaeologists accidentally release energy beings that transform people into psychotic zombies who only care about killing, and they spread rapidly through the aligned worlds. When two Earth women are rescued from a ship that is infested with zombies, it causes a chain of events that result in the Mars Station crew, and an Earth colony on a fiery planet named Pyros, to learn of each other's existence. The Commodore in charge then assassinates the President by drinking her blood, and enemy troops from his species known as the Tacans land on Pyros, only to be destroyed by the planet. New Atlantis is struck by a meteor, destroying structures and causing many casualties. While most of the crew heads to the aligned worlds to fight the zombies and prevent an invasion, Sally and a crew work to rescue and treat survivors. And now the conclusion of Operation Zombie. My brethren, we are gathered here today in this mountain retreat to celebrate the god Hista. Our plan to subjugate the aligned worlds according to the will of Hista is going well. It will only be a few days before we can execute phase 2. When the outside world cries for help, we will be there to fulfill Hista's will. When we are given the word we will rise up and take over and offer the people a new way, the way of Hista. Stand ready to fight. Stand ready to give your lives to Hista. We will prevail in this fight. Hista will rule the aligned worlds and eventually the galaxy. Jet I want to report on the zombies. I did not want whole populations wiped out. I assure you that won't happen. The energy creatures should be dying as I design them and then the zombies will be next. So far it does not look like they are dying at all. If our cells on the planets are wiped out we can not take over. I designed them to die after a few days. The energy creatures believe that they are centuries old. Everything is going according to plan. I will have the girl get on the table and show you my work. That is impressive, I admit, but I am still concerned as the infestation is not slowing down. Are the creatures you are making from their brains really dying? They will, I promise you. I have an excellent reputation. You come cheap, and so does your reputation. I will give it a few more days. It will be best for you if the creatures die as promised. 
Captain's log we are approaching the planet Pyros and have noticed the wreckage of two spacecraft and dead bodies, well away from the human colony. Fighters are escorting us to orbit. Discovery is headed to the site where this all began on Gallows 1, while Fortune surveys the damage on the aligned worlds. I am Captain Matt Stone of the Tri-Planet Space Defense Force. We are from Earth the same as you are. Report on your prisoner please. Ensign Lynn O'Brien at your service. We believe him to be alien. He drained our president of all her blood and killed a guard. Have you done medical scans on him? Yes, though our equipment is limited. Readings did not match expected norms. I am Captain Matt Stone of the Tri-Planet Space Defense Force. We want some information from you. I will not help you human or tell you anything. We can always arrange to give you a drug to help you remember. I said, I will not help you. Your drugs are useless against me. Ensign what do you know about the burning area and the destroyed ships that we saw? They were landing troops in a place we call the Fire Plains. We gave Wallback the chance to tell them to leave but he wouldn't listen. We did not attack them but we did look them over. What was their troop strength and ship status? We estimated 400 were there and two unarmed transport ships. I want full security scans done on everyone to see if we missed any of them. That will be all. Thank you Ensign. Inject 5 cc cellular repair hormone and begin tissue regeneration. How many casualties do you expect Sally? The ship may not be able to synthesize drugs fast enough.
What are you feeling? Where does it hurt? I think my arm is broken. My left arm. Computer scan patient for injuries. Patient has sustained tissue damage on his left arm. Bone trauma is not present. Use regenerator to repair damage. Okay let's get to work. Watch out for zombies. Jake I want a full analysis of these ruins. Scanning, something is wrong, and I am picking up traces of nitric acid. It looks like the corrosion was staged. Jake you mean this was a planned event? I believe so. The acid signature would suggest that it is an earth formula. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. Zombies inbound. Commence firing, fire at will. Captain's Log. Tips from locals have led us to a mountain hideout of what apparently is a cult. We are also investigating a lab which is where we believe the energy creatures were created. It appears to be a cult that migrated from Earth. The locals have never heard of cults and that boosts the idea that this is a cult.
We are from the Tri Planet Space Defense Force. I would like to speak to your leader. I am Field Commander and North. I cannot allow that. Leave while you still can. We have the permission of the local government. Let us in or we will come in. It is your choice. Let the humans in. It is okay. I will deal with this. We know about the fake archaeological site. I want answers and I want them now. What happened here? I know nothing about that. I am here to represent the great god Hista. Jake what do your scans show? He is human, and he is from Earth. You are coming with us. Oh and your scientist friend is coming too. There is an armed local team helping us. I suggest that you cooperate because they would like nothing better than to wipe your cult out. Captain's Log I have ordered both Discovery and Fortune to attack zombie positions on the ground at various places in the aligned worlds. We will be joining them after I get done with negotiations. As they help quell the zombie invasion, we are being given old ships to use against the invading Takan forces. They also will attack cult held areas as we face an enemy on the ground as well as a fleet coming in. Tactical. Stand by to fire on zombie positions. Plasma guns charged. Here they come. Ready, firing. Attack zombies when ready, here they come. Open fire. Firing main guns. We are hitting them, but they are not retreating. 
Fortunately their numbers are dwindling since the energy beings have died off on their own. That wraps this up. Heading to the cult base. We will pound that as well. Zack there is an unarmed alien spacecraft inbound. They are requesting to speak with Princess Angelica. Ask them if they have the wrong place. There is no princess here. No they repeat, they want to speak to the princess. Could that be someone from Pyros? One of your people, I mean, one of us? Zack it is I who they want to speak to. We have something to talk about. Lisa. Okay tell them to come in on standard approach. I am sure this will be an interesting conversation. Zack this is Olive Zoni. She is a guardian in our royal palace. My real name is Princess Angelica. I am from a star you call Tau Seti. There are five worlds there, I am a princess from Tau Seti too. Why didn't you tell us? We would have understood. I can answer that. I apologize if you feel deceived. The ship that the princess was on was hijacked. She was being sent to Pleiades Prime for protection. There are separatists on Tau Seti 4 and we have had trouble lately. It was feared that Lisa as you call her could become a target. She kept quiet about her identity to protect you. It was never even conceived that she would come anywhere near this system. Her mother, Queen Divine, spared no effort in tracking her down. We learned that she came to this system from others who fled from Proxima B. So you are here to take her back? No, not yet anyway. We still have problems of our own but hopefully someday we can take her back. We are here to discuss strategy. Your captain is assembling a fleet of antique warships to deal with the Takan threat. The princess shares some power with her mother. Princess. Do you want us to send ships to help? Yes I think we should. Our security is threatened too after all. Send a couple of fighter squadrons. Make sure you contact the Earth Captain if you can. This is a proud, determined people. They will go through with the fight no matter the odds. Commander Larson, do try to contact your captain and let him know. The Takans are a ruthless race that uses disasters to conquer others. Thank you madam, I will. We will take care of your princess for you. Zack I am bringing patients here. To give them a bed. We are using the white dwarf to shuttle them here and back. Do what is necessary Sally. What is the status of the planet? Recovering slowly. There have been animal attacks as animals long since in stasis have been released. I can offer a couple of security officers if you think it would help. It might keep us from being eaten but there are too many vulnerable people on the planet to save them all.
We are grateful to you captain for your help. You can take your choice of five ships. Reptilian demon fighters and these star empire fighters. They are old but still fly. You can also have a Martian fighting machine or two. You are most generous commander. We are familiar with the demon fighters and Martian fighting machines. Discovery shot one of the Martian fighting machines down with the help of a demon fighter. Took down a Martain fighting machine? That's impressive. Discovery was Earth's most advanced warship at the time of the Holocaust. I just wish I had a fleet of them to command. To all ships. We don't know how many enemy ships we face. We do know what we have to work with, which is four dozen ships of various descriptions and capabilities. There is no going back. We either fight them here or fight them in our backyard. All hands, good luck. Battle stations. Command ship Alpha to fleet. Everything looks good. Proceed to your designated targets. Today we take the aligned worlds, then New Atlantis and more. 
there is nothing standing in our way. Personally I cannot wait. I have been looking forward to drinking fresh blood instead of synthetic swill that we drink now. And yes the joy of the hunt is what I long for too. What intel do we have about ships that could oppose us? Very little. The Earth humans have a few space fighters but nothing to worry about. I have heard rumors of warships operating in the area, and we know that someone has been attacking the zombies. I would not worry about it. Our plan is proceeding smoothly. What is that? Alien spacecraft inbound on attack vector. I read one Earth Destroyer Escort class ship and a demon fighter. I cannot believe it. Send out a mayday. It looks like a command ship. Lock forward plasma guns. Notify the demon fighter to open fire. Jill I suggest an oblique angle. It does not have the same ability to swivel its guns. I see what you mean. They are dead meat. Open fire, fire at will. in range. There is an older fighter joining us.
Captain there are two alien fighter squadrons inbound. They are headed straight for the Takan fleet. Are they joining them or are they fighting them? It looks like an attack vector. We are getting a voice message. Earth creatures we are from Tau Ceti. Our orders are to destroy the Takan fleet. Princess Angelica gave us our orders. Acknowledge the message. I don't know who Princess Angelica is but we will find out I am sure. We've lost contact with the other command ships. I am certain I heard a distress call. Maybe we should retreat. No way. We have come too far. Who could be attacking us anyway? Tau Ceti fighter inbound. Evasive. Open fire. Attack and command ships were destroyed with the loss of only one fighter. As transports were shot out of the sky, the remnants of the fleet retreated hastily. The battle was won, but the terrible damage to the aligned worlds would take a long time to heal. There were also other matters to attend, and New Atlantis needed to get back on its feet. Captain's Log The battle is over, but there are some things left to do. We need leadership both for the colony and the base that is there too. I will enjoy this part, but then I need discuss matters of state and the child princess who is Princess Angelica but who we have called Lisa. Lieutenant Jenkins, the next time I see you I want you in Command Gold. You are now Commander Jenkins. I know you are the type of man who prefers to fly a fighter rather than shuffle papers and and give orders, but your leadership is needed here. Well done Commander. Ensign O'Brien. You are now Lieutenant O'Brien. Work with Jenkins to whip the space into shape, and watch out for fires of course. The colony will need to elect a governor and other personnel. It would be a good job for you to help organize that. And for you Captain, Pleiades Prime would like you to accept one of our greatest honors. The Medal of Peace is highly prized by our people. We are establishing both a pay option using currency that we have, and trade too. It will benefit all of us while we rebuild. Thank you Madam President. I hope to have many fruitful years working with you and the rest of the aligned worlds. I am Queen Divine. I thank you for taking care of my little girl. It has been a joy having her with us. I guess you are taking her back. Not quite yet, but she will come with me for a little while for a visit. I would like you to take care of her, and we will send you some supplies while the princess stays with you. Well to you she is a princess, but to us as long as she stays with us she will always be Lisa.